Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is about Corel Connect that has been around for a while. I've never really paid too much attention to it. And one of my mentors sent me a note today that he he heard or something that they changed the name from Connect to something else. So I just started kind of playing around with it for the first time. I mean, I've looked at it before, but never really used it, and it's pretty cool. If you go to Windows and Dockers, and right here is Connect Content. I would always look at it and go, well, I can't really use colors, and, and you can look at vector items, you can look at raster items, and we're gonna go back and you can you know, search categories, animal, birds, insect, you know, landscape and nature, and you can add other things. And I, I guess I've never looked at it. It's free. And what it does, it, it goes down and, and uh, this one here kind of scares me. There was one that was a, I saw earlier that was a font pack that had like 1300 fonts. And you could go new. See, there are, some, maybe that's what I looked at before. And here's some fonts and uh, let's take away the content and the new. See, there's a bunch of fonts, but there was a new, here's some free. So you pick on free and there's all the free, you know, different stuff. And I picked, I just downloaded one of them. And for some reason, it's, well, I guess it's not on there because I've got it now. It was under animals and nature. But like this car, and we'll just go, you know, we'll pick a animal. And these are all basically vector type animals. And you can use them for laser engraving, but there's a little trick. Let's see if I can't get back to sea life. And one thing, you can't just drop and drag it like some things. You actually have to go and right click and import it and then left click and paste it in there. Now, for us laser engravers, it is got white in it. So let's fill a yellow box trick, go to object, order back a page. Now, how would you get, and the car's also got some white in it, uh, you know, because everybody, everybody's not a laser engraver. So we're going to set our nudge factor to eight, eight, uh, eight inches, and we're gonna take this, and what's so neat, it's, it's not a bitmap, it's a vector product, so go to object and group and ungroup it. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna get rid of this white. So I'm gonna take the black and I'm gonna nudge it over. I'm gonna left click, right click, and give that black an outline. So now it's just an outline. Now I'm gonna take my white, and I'm gonna left click, right click, and then I'm going to nudge this back, and then I'm going to take my smart fill tool, fill on black, and now you have an engravable vector item. That's pretty cool. And there's uh, quite a bit of stuff in just this sea life. You know, if you ever needed a crab or another shell, and there's different categories. and So kind of give it a look at. It's been around for a while. I've just never paid any attention to it. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.